Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tiny tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a new page in your Squarespace website. Now it doesn't matter if you start with a blank page or a template, we'll be able to edit anything we want on this page. I'll also show you how to add sections and how to edit the settings. To create a new page, navigate to Pages and click on this plus icon. If you click on the plus icon for your main navigation, it will add this page to your main navigation. You can also add one to a member area or to the not linked section. And after you've created a page, you can always rearrange it by dragging and dropping it into a different section of your site. Let's start with the main navigation. Clicking that plus sign, I can either grab a blank page or start with a page layout. Either option is completely customizable. If we start with a pre-made page layout, we can grab from anything Squarespace has already put together for us, like this one. Clicking on that page will create this new page in my site. I'm going to go ahead and call it New Page and click Enter on my keyboard so it will have that name in my navigation. See it in the top right hand side of my menu here? That new page has now been added to my main navigation. If I don't want it there, I can drag and drop it into the not linked section of my site and it will exist only when people go to that specific URL. Speaking of, how do we change that URL? Let's check out these settings. Clicking on this gear icon, I can edit the page settings. This is where I can change the title of the page, which is what will be shown in the browser window. I can change the navigation title, which is what it's going to say in the menu. And here, I can give it a custom URL slug. That's what people will type when they want to go to that specific page, and it can be anything that you want it to be. We have additional options here, SEO options, social share image, and a place for code injection, but this is a tiny tutorial, so let's skip all that stuff. I'll select save, and we'll hop into edit mode really quickly so I can show you just how easy it is to change the settings on this new page. In edit mode, you can adjust any of your section settings here, changing the height, the width, alignment, background image, removing it or replacing it, and then adding colors. You can also add a video background if you'd like to, plenty of options there. If you like this template but want to rearrange it a little bit, use these arrows to shift page sections up and down to reorder them, and feel free to click into any text to start typing. If you'd like to add a new block, like a button, an image, or an audio block, anywhere you see this plus sign, click on that, and you can add a block of content. Again, completely customizable, even though we started with the template. When you're all done, select Save, and you'll be good to go. And I'll show you one last time how we add a new page, to add a new page, navigate to your Pages menu and click this plus icon in any section of your site. Remember, you can always drag and drop it into a different section after you've created it. Clicking this plus icon, you can either grab a pre-made page layout, which is completely editable, or click blank page to have a blank page to start with. Enter in the title for your page and click this gear icon to edit the additional settings like page title, navigation title, and URL slug. If you'd like to move the page outside of your main navigation while you work on it, sim simply drag and drop it into the not linked section of your site and you'll be good to go. For more tiny tutorials like this one, visit insidethesquare.co.